What's up, everybody? All right, it's that time of the year again where we got to do 200 yards of mulch at one of our properties. And it's everybody's favorite time of the year. All year, they're like, man, when are we going to do this mulch? Please let us do the mulch. Please, please, please let us do the mulch. That's they beg all year long for that semi to pull up and then just watch it come off the conveyor. <laughs> Watch it come off the conveyor and slowly pile up to the size of a house. They love that. They can't wait for that today. So where am I going? I'm going to grab a skid steer. And what sucks is nobody has a skid steer with a 60 inch bucket. So the only thing they got is a 48 inch bucket. So that sucks. It's going to make the job. It's going to take me almost twice as long to move everything, which sucks, but whatever. It's better than nothing. Here's to being positive. That's a big no-no right there. You don't blow stuff out into people's cars while they're driving. The Home Depot. Let's go see what they got. Man, I really wish they had the 60-inch bucket. I've never rented from this Home Depot before. Concrete guy. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Why can't I just have somebody that just brings... All right, there they are over here. Oh, my God. It's like a little baby. It's tiny. It's a little baby. Ah, oh, man. This is going to suck. So, yeah, this is all we got to work with today. That's really not a lot of mulch. I mean, it's it's better than nothing, but man, this sucks. You know how many trips this is gonna be back and forth all around this complex today? Ugh, sucks. All right, guys, so we're out here at, uh, this is the same property that you guys saw us mulch last year, if you guys watched it. Um, we gotta do this one this week and then we have to do another big property in like two weeks. What we're probably gonna do this time is split this one up because there's two, you guys see that tree line that's back there? Yeah, that tree line back there, that separates um, this half of the property um, from the other half of the property. So there's, we call it like, you know, we end up calling like phase one, phase two. Um, it's bright, it feels good today, man. This is like the nicest, Day we've had in, in like in a while so what we're gonna end up doing is like I said mulching mulching this side um, hopefully get this all done this week because this this stuff takes a while man you're talking 200 yards of mulch 100 yards per truck so um, we have to get this done so we can't let it drag out um, the guys are really quick and efficient so I have all the confidence in the world that we'll get it done now I wish that I had the 50 instead, but we have the 30, and this has got the wee little bucket. It's only 48 inch bucket. Um, usually we do this with the 60 inch bucket. They didn't have that available, so we have to use this one. It's better than nothing, but I mean, ultimately it's like, you know, our wheelbarrows could almost fit this much, but, um, you know, it's, it's wheelbarrowing it all around the property because we're, I don't know, we're like 16 acres on this side, you know? So, it'll be better than nothing. So, here's my handy, my handy green touch rail system. I love this thing, man. Um, you know, I've kicked up to 80 miles an hour with this on here, with just that little simple pin lock. Let me swing around and show you. Right here, little pin lock. Doesn't, doesn't go anywhere, doesn't do anything. So, I love that bed rail system. All right, so the guys are here. They're on the other side of the property. I have them just going around trimming anything that needs to be trimmed, um, getting anything out of the beds that need to be gotten out of. Gotten? Out of? Gotten? Be gotten out of? Whatever. Clean out the beds, um, you know, in preparation for mulch slam day. All right.
All right, so that's the uh, the 30. I'm used to the 50 where um, you, know, you use both of the hand. I've actually never driven something this small before, um, but the forward and turn is all in the left hand. So I'm not used to that. I'm used to, um, you know, two hand operation, you know, all that stuff, everything happening with that. Anyway, it's not too slow. I thought it'd be slower. So at least I'm happy that it's not super, super, super slow. We'll get it done though, man. We'll get it done. Yeah, so I'm used to like the 50s um, where everything is, you know, on, on both both sticks. Um, the 30 here, it seems that everything is on the left hand as far as left and right. Um, and, you know, forward. So I'm not used to like one-handed operation on these. Um, yeah, that's different, but whatever. Kind of easier in a way, but either way, we'll get it done. Let's go find the guys. Go with 100 yards of mulch. Favorite part. <laughs> Look at that load. Like what we have to do is get them to move this up. This big old chunk's about to fall. So I just signal to him, and he'll just move up. This guy's awesome. We can't do too big of piles because you see what it does, it gets out in the road. So, boom! This is their favorite part. They wait all year long and they're like, can we please mulch? Can we please? I have had guys show up and go home when they saw this being unloaded before. I kid you not. All right, so we got the mulch delivered. Guys are already on it. So we got we got about 50 yards right here that's dumped. Um, and then on the other half, we had to put the other 50. And then like I said, probably in a couple weeks, we'll jump to the other phase and we'll get that done. So uh, we usually drop, you know, a couple of inches, um, you know, two to three inches in the bed. So, and then anything that we have left, we'll go back over. Um, you know, and fill in or thicken anything up because we have to do, you know, this wall and we have to do all of the buildings. All of the buildings and we're not, we're not going all the way around it. They only want us to go um, to about where the air conditioning unit systems are, where they pop out up to that point and that's where they want us to stop. So, it's still, I mean, it takes a lot of mulch to do all this because probably each one of these, I mean, probably each one of these about six yards per building, six, seven yards per building. And I mean, yeah, a hundred yards is honestly barely going to cut it as it is. So we're going to get busy. Chinook, Chinook. See how he throws all that mulch all over the place? Like he's just wasteful. Do what? Look at that little tiny piece of mulch he just wasted right there. <laughs> you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the All big right. one. <laughs> We're gonna get busy. Hey guys, so I went ahead and wrapped it up. I had to get out of there. Um, I got a lot of stuff I gotta go get done. And I have this stinking class tonight for like three hours and I have to go finish filling out some stupid crap. Uh, but anyways, I'll, um, I'll do an updated video and let you guys see what's going on and the finished product of all of that. Sound good? Man, well at least it wasn't as dusty. The last year when we did it and we had all that delivered, it was so dusty, man. I looked like a straw. I looked like a, I looked like a strawberry smurf when I was done. Strawberry smurf. But anyways, their attitudes are great and it's awesome, man. I'm used to having guys just 
whenever that much mulch shows up. So at least it wasn't that. All right. Peace out.